Having the ability to combine and breed pals in pal world is one of the coolest things you can do right now and you're really missing out if you don't use this because it gives you access to insanely overpowered pals such as this Anubis. In this video, we're going to go over everything related to breeding from how to get started, how to get infinite amount of resources required for breeding, what are some of the best pals to breed early on, and how to get specific passive skills onto your desired pal. As you've noticed, this Anubis I bred has a base work speed of 140 compared to one caught in the wild which has only 70. This is because this pal has passive skills which boost its work speed by a huge amount. It's got Work Slave which boosts its work speed by 30%, Sirius which gives 20% and Artisan which increases work speed by a massive 50% and yes all of these stack. As an added bonus it also has Workaholic which reduces his sanity loss by 15%. Now before we get into how I was able to get all four passive traits onto this Anubis let's talk about how to get started with breeding. You're going to need a breeding pen which can unlock at level 19. I like to have a dedicated breeding base in order to make this as quick and efficient as possible. If you want to know how to set this up click the link in the top right hand corner for the best way to build Build a breeding base. Once you've got your breeding pen, we're going to need cake. For this, you're going to need to build a ranch, which you can unlock at level 5, then catch a chickpea for eggs, mozzarella for milk, and a bee guard for honey. I find that having one of each is more than enough, but if you need more, then you can always build two ranches, as you can only assign up to four pals to each ranch. Assign all of these pals to the ranch, and you're good to go. You're also going to need flour, which means you'll need to grow wheat. You can unlock the wheat plantation at level 15 using technology points, then build a berry plantation and an electric kitchen or a cooking pot and you'll be able to start cooking cake. With that out of the way, let's talk breeding. You need a male and a female pal and you can use the same species which will give you that specific type of pal as the parents or you can crossbreed to get access to insane pals like this Orsuk with level 4 electricity by combining a Relaxorus and a Grisbolt. To get access to Anubis, simply breed a Cerderay and a Relaxorus and you'll get one of the best base pals early in the game. There's a lot of combinations of pals you can use and I won't go through all of them but I like to use a website made by the original person who discovered this to make my life much easier and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. The goal in this video is to get multiple Anubis with the best work speed skills so you have an insane amount of production and resources in your base. As you've noticed I got lucky with a Doomud that already has three of the desired traits with Sirius, Workaholic and work slave. Now if we go on to the website you'll notice that it's actually pretty easy to get an Anubis from a Doomud by simply breeding it with a Pyrin knot. You can catch a Doom it in this location on the map and a Pyrin knocked in the volcanic region on the map here. You'll need to do this at night as Pyrin knocked only spawns during night time. You can also buy these pals from the black marketeer if you've caught one by putting him in your base. Every time you move him from the pal box into your base he'll have a bunch of new pals for you to buy and you can keep doing this an unlimited number of times to get the pal you want. I managed to get a Pyrin knocked with Artisan by doing this which was the desired trade I was looking for. You could also breed a Pyrin with a Catrice in order to get a parent knocked with your desired traits. Now in an ideal world you want your parent A which is my Doomud in this case to have two of the desired traits and parent B to have the remaining two traits as this gives the highest possible chance of all four traits being passed on to the child but since I wasn't able to do this we're going to have to work with what we have. Once you have the pals you need simply assign them to the breeding farm and put some cake into the box. Each cake would provide you with one egg so I'd recommend having a lot of cake as the chances of getting your desired pal is really low. You can also use pals with no traits in order to pass down specific passive skills to the child. For example, I could breed this Frost Stallion with Legend and this Vanrum Christ which has no passive traits which would give me a chance at getting a Pyrin with just the Legend trait. You can then further crossbreed the Pyrin in order to get a pal with Legend and other passive traits such as Swift and Nimble to get a super fast mount. Now once you have one or two Anubis with the desired traits, you can breed them to continuously get insanely overpowered pals for your base. By the time you you're ready to assign them to your base, you're going to end up with a lot of pals with undesired traits. You can use the pal condenser to make these pals even more powerful as this will allow you to increase its rank from 1 to 4 by using these pals with undesired traits as resources. Bear in mind you will lose the pals you put into the condenser to use to power up your other pals. Once a pal reaches rank 4, it also increases the level of the type of work skills it has. So the Anubis with level 4 handiwork would increase to level 5, mining would be at level 4 and it would gain level 3 transporting making it the best pal to have in your base. You will need 
need an increasing number of pals to get to rank 4, rank 1 requires 8 pals, rank 2 needs 16, 32 will get you to rank 3 and you need 64 pals to reach rank 4. You'll need a total of 114 pals to get rank 4 for a single pal which is why I prefer having a breeding base with unlimited resources to make this easier. Finally, there's several different foods you can put in the feed box to increase the work speed even further. Baked berries are better than normal berries as they recover sanity, however if you build a lettuce and a tomato plantation you'll be able to cook salad which increases a pal's work speed by 30% and keeps them full for much longer. You can also use other foods such as pizza or the mozzarella hamburger but both of these foods require flour and the mozzarella meat takes much longer to farm as you'd have to catch and butcher wild mozzarella. Personally I'd rather keep the flour for baking cake so I can focus more on breeding and less on farming. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to breed your pals efficiently and get the best possible traits. Let me know in the comments below what your best pals are, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for future content, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.